Welcome to this demo of Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure. A Microsoft Azure native backup and recovery solution that enables you to minimize costs and securely protect your Microsoft Azure virtual machines. Getting started couldn't be simpler with turnkey subscription and deployment directly from the Microsoft Azure Marketplace. Important points to note are that Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure supports multiple subscriptions, resource groups, and regions, allowing you to securely protect your production workloads. With multiple editions available, Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure offers flexible licensing options for any need. The free edition is fully featured, allowing you to back up up to 10 Microsoft Azure virtual machines with unlimited restores. With the Bring Your Own License version, you can utilize a portable Veeam Universal License, perfect for those with hybrid environments with Microsoft Azure, virtual infrastructure, and physical workloads. Ease of use is built in with secure access to the web user interface. Once you're successfully logged in, the overview tab gives you a powerful summary of your environment. The alarms that you've had over the past 24 hours, how many instances you have in your policies, how many of those instances are actually protected, and other configuration options applied in this environment. Let's take a look at our total number of instances we have defined. If we actually filter here for unprotected, we can see we have two instances that aren't protected through policies. Let me show you how simple it is to create a policy so we can remedy that. We go to our Policies tab, and we have the ability to edit or create new policies. Now let's add a new policy. We give it a name. We pick the Azure Active Directory. And then we can specify the regions for the virtual machines located that we want to protect. So for this, we'll say Central US. But you can list and pick any region that is available in Microsoft Azure today. Next, we're able to specify our resources. So do we want to pick all resources in that region or protect resources based on a particular requirement? Do we want to protect against subscriptions, resource groups? Do we want to protect with tags or virtual machines? For this, we're going to pick resource groups, and we'll pick a resource group called VMs Restore. We simply add that, and that means for every virtual machine in that resource group, we have protected. We can also exclude resources from this policy based around virtual machines. Now we come to the snapshot settings where we can define how many restore points we have and the scheduling we want to set up. We can go and set it daily or we can set it to minutes or even continuously take snapshots of our data on these virtual machines in that policy. For this, we're going to set it at daily. Now we come to our backup settings. This allows us to optionally choose to offload our backup data to Microsoft Azure Blob Storage for cost-effective long-term data retention. We simply pick our backup repository, and then we pick how long we want to keep the retention period for. We then go and set the schedule. And again, we can specify whether we want it continuous, down to the minutes, 
or whether we want to do it daily or monthly. Next we come to the built-in cost estimator. This gives us powerful insights into the costs of defining this backup policy, including any cross-region fees. We can see how much the snapshots per virtual machine are going to cost, as well as offloading that data to our object storage repositories. The final step is the policy settings, where we can specify our automatic retries, and any notifications we may want to configure. And the Summaries tab allows us to review the settings we just created. Now this wouldn't be a backup demonstration if we didn't talk about why we actually backup in the first place. And that is, of course, restores. Now it's very simple to do restores. You just highlight the virtual machine or virtual machines that you want to restore select restore and then we have the option to restore the actual virtual machine in place so overwrite that existing virtual machine or out of place allowing us to restore this virtual machine to different regions with different configuration options or even to different subscriptions and resource groups finally we have the file level recovery which allows us to perform granular file level restores of individual files within those backups. So you don't have to do a full restore. You can pick file level recovery, pick those individual files and download them to your desktop. Thank you for watching this demonstration of Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure. To get started with Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure, please visit the Microsoft Azure Marketplace and simply search for Veeam.